know, you know, who, you know, when I went to pick up CY before I picked, I picked you up on yeah. Nickelbacker, so CY was like, yeah, I guess you know who I bump into, he gave, he, called me, he gave me a couple names. I said, oh shit, I know those dudes. And he goes, yeah, they used to be Hard Rock. Oh, and that was the name of the crew, Hard Rock. Cause that was, that was oh, they, yeah. that, they were like from, no, they're from Bushwick, Hard Rock. Like Fast Rock, they had Hard wow. Rock. But they were more like from the other side of Bushwick. Like, you know, like Cooper yeah. Avenue, whatever. And he said, yo, I was with these guys. And I was like, oh man, I haven't seen those guys for years, kid. And C told me, yo, everybody knows who you are, man. Cause you like, you must have, I don't know how you went through a whole Bushwick. <laughs> you know, like a lot of people just stay in their little place. Like me, I moved from one place to the other. Guy you know? I live in one side of Bushwick, but I went to school on the other side. I said, yeah, but I went over here. I went to school here. That's why, that's how I got to meet college. I remember when I was in, I remember when I was in Williamsburg. And um, when I went to Bushwick, how bad I wanted to make a um, a dance crew, just like the Gents and the X-15. Yeah. I, I, I remember Who are those so Gents? They were the rockers from, it, it was, they were like, almost like, they were the people that came after gangs in, in Williamsburg, like, you oh. know, like, like Touch of Rock and stuff like that, after gangs, dynasties. Mm -hmm. but these guys were like the... They were they used to call social clubs, but they used to rock like the BT Express, the SSB, and um, the Gens, and all those guys. They used to rock the Dukes, and they all used to rock. I remember seeing them. when I came to Bushwick. I remember when when I wanted to do that so bad, man. I said, yeah, I want to do that. And then I just got then Bushwick was like starting gang stuff. They were already in the gang, so I ended up joining the gangs. And after the gangs, that's when we said, you know what? I'm gonna put out a group, and that's when it, that's when I, and it was I got that. that but who thing. gave you the name? Touch, Touch a Rock. Touch a Rock. Then you came out with the name. Yeah, because we had a crew called the Nightbreakers, and the Nightbreakers was not a breaking crew. It used to be a crew that we used to break night and probably get stoned here and there, whatever, just to hang out. So then we wanted to give it. A, it was, but we used to rock a lot. So we wanted to give it a little touch of rock. Oh. <laughs> we wanted to give it something that that relate to rock. But they were night break, it wasn't because we were breakers. But we said we need to get this something, this this crew, something that could relate to rock. And then I was just like, well, let me just give it a touch of rock. And there it is. What? And that was it. So who was who in the crew? But we still. Sorry. Does, does. Those guys got all that names that we gave it to them. Like, Cuz was original. And Cuz gave me buzz. I, I got named Buzz by Cuz. <laughs> and I named I named Dawes and the other guys. But but Dynasty was still there. They just weren't the Dynasty. But they were there. Oh this way. They were there. They were just For us they were cool. Yeah, for us they were just urban kids. That's why King Block and all those bunch of Hope I'm just to hang out and shit, you know? <laughs> Him Rock, I'm um, Irving and Nickelbacker by with Danny, what is it? Cookie? <laughs> right there. That was what it was. Then when they say, you know, we pulled out the touch of rock, you understand? You said, you know what? Dynasty's pulled out a crew and they said, let's battle, man. I remember when Carlos came up to me. He goes, Buzz, you never know what I saw. He goes, why? He goes, I, we saw, I saw this guy with a crew, T Dynasty Rockers. I said, get out of here. He goes, yeah. And by that time, we only had about, there were only about five or six touch of rocks. Maybe seven. It wasn't big. Dynasty started bigger. When Dynasty pulled out, they, the mother, the father, the grandmother, the <laughs> they were all in it, dog. They were, they were very supportive. They, the family was very supportive, you know, like Danny Boy's mother and all. They were very this supportive. Yeah, they really, really, really enjoyed it. And the reason why they were supportive, it was because they all came from a family of dancers between oh. Eddie and, and, and Cookie and Manny, and you understand? And so they were supportive about that, you understand? Uh -huh. And you guys were always dancing. You guys just loved the thing. I think you guys had, I think you guys had to rock more to heart than Touch a Rock did. And it's, I mean, Touch of Rock was more like, 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 like almost like the social clubs of Williamsburg. You understand that kind of style? You understand? We were dressing. We, we were dressing. Y'all niggas was just put on my sneakers and shorts. Let's go out there and burn motherfuckers in the, you know, in the parks. 
we were more like, let's go to the clubs, whatever. I mean, we even went to 2001 Odyssey. We went up there, the crew. I mean, that, that was like all dressy. We used to like to get in these clubs. And then, you know, we brought it to the parks and it was Dynasty, man. And that's all I could think of. I could always think, I, I can't really think of no other battles with, and no other crews. That's why when people tell me, yo, remember the Phase Six and the Incredible Rockers? And I just like, yeah, I remember the names. You understand? Yeah. Because I seen them walking around. I mean, there are millions of names. I could go on and, and make up names, you understand? Um, yeah. Him about Rockers, Stockholm Rockers, I can understand. I could go to a lot, a lot of names, you understand? But, you know, it wasn't like, you know, when you talk to me about dynasties, you're talking about, you know, there was hate, man. <laughs> yeah, there was hate, you understand? <laughs> we were better than you, and they thought they were better than us, and and when we hustle, we even hustle with jealousy and thing, you understand? They would turn around and hustle, and if they were hustling, we would hustle too, you understand? And we would just be hustling on that middle of the floor to they play a rock song and push the girl to the side, and it was almost like a West Side Story. Let's do this, too, you know? <laughs> and that was it, you understand? And, and, and I still remember, man. I remember when we used to rock, man, and battle 15, 20 records for a trophy this little, this big. And that meant a lot to us, that little trophy, which I still got with the one I gave you, whatever. Yeah. It meant a lot, you understand? And Chicky started ruining it by, by giving big ass trophies to those contests. Chicky started giving big trophies. And I used to get very upset because I said, yo, I can't join your contest and take those things. Meanwhile, we used to take some little things home. But they meant a lot, man. When, when, when Rob, Crazy Rob used to do those rock contests, those things were little, little trophies, when you, you know? When you guys battled with Lil Dave and all that, you guys, that wasn't, that wasn't like a big money thing, right? It was, it was just a fame thing, it was just a love. You know, you did it with, with, with a thing of passion. Now and day, it's like people don't even join contests. They just go to contests because somebody paid their way there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the love of, of the dance is right now, right now, rocking and dancing and b-boarding is almost like the Major League Baseball now, you understand? Derry Jeter could be a shortstop today for the Yankees, and he could Yankee, 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 but he would not tattoo Yankee on his chest because he knows that next week he might be a freaking Oakland A's, and he says, I love the Oakland A's. They're the best organization in the world. So, you know, it's all about the money, you understand? Where I never saw a dynasty turn around and say, I'm a touch of rock, and I'm going to be a touch of rock. Yes, yes, man, he became a touch of rock for a week, but, you know, he didn't feel the vibe. You were a touch of rock, but there wasn't the vibe there. You still had that shit in your heart that you were a dynasty. Manny was the same thing, too. Whether he was a touch of rock for a week or two weeks, he still had it in his heart, you understand? And I think Manny came to touch a rock and shit because he liked some of the girls. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you understand? Funny. But because some of the girls in Touch of Rock, you know, were friendly and shit like that, you know? But, you know, and the girls in Dynasties, man, they rock and kick your butt, too. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> you understand? They weren't having it. The, girls, the Dynasties girls, man, they were all about Rock and Janet. You know, they weren't about finding boyfriend, man. They were about, you know, I'm going to show you I could dance. I've been looking for girls. <laughs> <laughs> and the girls in Touch of Rock, they used to rock with such a physique, you understand? Like, you know? And, you know, and there's all the dynasties coming over to join us and shit like that. Yeah, we're gonna be in your crew, but we're not gonna wear your shirt, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we went hard, hard, hard. <laughs> you know? But that was basically that, you understand? You know, Danny Boy, whatever, you know? But, you know, those, you know, dynasties stood to the dynasties and Touch of Rock stood to the Touch of Rock, and they were, and it was like today, man, today, you don't know who's in it. Today,